guys. So we're trying out some hair from Wiggins Hair. I've never actually uh, worked with this company or had any of their hair before. So I was really excited to try it out. Here's what came in the box. We have a wig cap that actually came with two wig caps, some eyelashes, a bag, and a drawstring. And I'm gonna be using this bed head spray to lay the wig. So we're gonna use that. And this is what it looks like out of the box. It looks really nice. The lace isn't tinted at all. So I'm gonna use some of this Sally Hansen spray to tint it. Um, I'll show it in a few clips coming up here. So yeah, the lace is really like white, I guess. Um, but the hair looks really cute. I mean, look how cute I look. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm using the Sally Hansen leg spray. I guess it's like leg makeup and I'm using that on the inside of the wig. And yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the bald cap method. I've never actually done this before. This is the first time I've done it. So I made a lot of mistakes and I'll talk about that later on in the video. But yeah, this is how I ended up uh, blow drying and using that bed head spray. And yeah, I'm gonna be quiet because the next couple clips I will be actually talking, so. Oh, I also used some of this LA Girl Pro Concealer on my wig cap before I actually use the airbrush lace stuff on my wig. So to clarify, the wig tinting stuff is the leg makeup. It's on the wig itself, yeah. Okay, so this method was a complete fail for me. Um, I do not think I'm gonna try this again, I'm sorry. Uh, this looks terrible. I will do my makeup off camera really quick and come back, uh, give you the details about this wig and then try to fix it a little bit, but I don't even know how I would fix this. It looks so bad. Okay, to try to fix this, I'm gonna use some rubbing alcohol. Well, not really fix. I'm just gonna take away some of the crusty bits and then go over the uh, this part with some foundation. It actually doesn't look that bad uh, in person, but under the studio lighting, it looks horrible. So I'm gonna use some, this is 70% alcohol. And I'm not using this to take away any of the glue I put down like on the lace part. I'm just taking it away from the areas that I don't want to look pasty because it got like all up on different areas of my skin. Yeah, that looks much better already. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. I'm wondering if I should use my concealer or foundation. Uh, I'm going to use foundation. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and then just fill in the spots like right here. Hopefully that helps to fade everything in. Okay. I probably should have did this after because I still have to lay down some pieces. This is gonna come together, okay? I'm gonna figure it out. This is gonna look so good. Oh, I'm still like right there. Just to be on the safe side. That's good. Uh, I think I'm good. I think I'm good there. I'm not trying to do anything more than that. I just have to put some product on it, but yeah, it looks good. Okay. To get to where I am right now, this was a struggle because I could not figure out what I was doing, but I'm okay with the results. I think this looks really nice. Um, as long as like you don't lift up these hairs right here, I think it looks really cute. I don't know why anyone would do that, but yeah, it looks really nice. I think if I did this one more time, there's a lot of things I would change about how I did this, especially on the sides. I don't think, I don't, I don't know. I definitely did the sides wrong, but everywhere else looks really good. I'm not mad at it, All right? It looks good. So a couple things. The spray that I used for the inside to make sure the lace was tinted is Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs in Medium Glow. That's what I showed before. And to actually put the wig on itself, I used Bed Head Hard Head Mini. Um, I didn't get the big one because there's a lot in here. You don't really need a full one. So that's what I used for the, this. 
So this color, I don't know if you can tell, it has like burgundy or red mixed in with black. And I think that's really cute. I don't have any burgundy wigs. I have a red one that I dyed myself, but I don't have any burgundy ones like this. And it's like striped. So you can see like stripes of black and the red. I think that's really cute. This is a body wave wig. It is... I'm going to leave... All of the stats right here in case I get anything wrong so I'm gonna make sure I put that right there also it's very long I have pajama pants on so I don't want to stand up but it looks really good right and that's what it looks like flipped over which is probably how I would actually wear it I just had I would have to get rid of the middle part here but um, yeah it goes way past my boobs um, almost like waist length I want to straighten it I'm kind of curious how it would look straight yeah, this is really nice. It's really cute. Great for fall, too. I think burgundy for fall is really cute. Also, like, gingers for fall. They have another version of this wig, except instead of having the burgundy, they just have, like, a blonde. But I think it's really cute, too. So if you wanted to change the color of the stripes, you can just dye that, and that would look really nice. Let me know if you guys want me to try the ball cap method again. This time around, it was, uh kind of a struggle I had to go on TikTok to get some tips but it really did help me out like they told me to use some alcohol to clean up the edges and then like lay down some baby hairs I mean I don't really do baby hair but that's kind of what helped to hide my little mistakes so definitely do that if you're not as great at laying down wigs like me I'm not I'm not that great at it but I think it looks pretty realistic I'm pretty happy with it as far as the wig itself goes, there's a lot of room inside the cap still, so if I had more hair, I would definitely be able to fit it all in here. Right now, my hair is blow-dried and braided underneath in some like chunky braids, and it still was able to fit, so if you have really thick hair, it's great for that. Overall, I'm happy. Would I suggest you get hair from them? Yes. Um, this hair is really nice. Uh, you get a lot of space in the parting area, so if you want to part over here on the side, there's still... Like, look, I still... Look, look how nice that looks come on yeah you still have a lot like it's not just wide right here it's wide everywhere like I can do a really deep side part here and it would be still good you get the same amount of parting everywhere nice and it will still look really nice so yeah I'm living out my vampire dreams um I'm into it let me know what you guys think do you like the color should I dye my hair red I want to dye my hair another color soon I'm keeping it in protective styles because I don't like the color that it is now. It's like kind of faded um, purple and pink and I don't want to be purple and pink anymore so I'm just hiding it with wigs. Uh, so yeah, leave me some ideas, let me know what you think and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.